that from his skates to his stick. Gaber once more, Perez the save, rebound there, stopped again by the sophomore from Quebec. Here's Jaden Lee now, over to Brindamore, shot through traffic, De Ritter forced to scramble. A little scrum to the left of the fifth year netminder from Fenton, Michigan. There to leave it for Moore. Nice find in front and in the back of the net. Joey Cipollone lighting the lamp midway through the first and it's 1-0 Quinnipiac. Here's Cooper Moore now back on the puck trying to push back right away that shot goes wide. Moore back on it. Perrette's there. Puck still lose a huge scrum in front. Sustained pressure from the Bobcats. Fillion shot blocked down. Follow-up rebound in for Tellier. Kristoff to Kristoff, and it's 2-0. Final 60 seconds of the first. Cipollone. Great feed, 3-0, Quinnipiac. Jacob Quillen lighting the lamp. And Blank fresh off the bench. North Dakota getting fresh legs out here. Great feed now, Costantini. Puck got caught up in the pads, and now you see it pop free. It pops straight up in the air. Costantini finding Dylan James, and he's got space in front of him. Two on one. James across. Ports. James there. North Dakota on the board. The first of the career for Dylan James, and it's three to one. You talk about making adjustments, look at this, North Dakota flying the zone, a good job right there by Dylan James to push the defender back, wins a puck battle, slides that over to Ports, driving in, and that goes right off the post, so right here, good pass, goes off the post, it's a fortunate bounce, pops right out to Dylan James, but that play starts right there. Monitor. And I do remember those Cole Smith days, as Blake by Schmaltz, great one-time chance, another stop. Here come the Bobcats on the breakout. Puck dumped in by Friedman. Quillen diving in. Farmer able to tie him up. TJ Friedman back on it. Looking for an angle. Friedman in the back of the net. And they have controlled the puck here in the second period. They've gotten the lead down. Well, now here's a chance. And Reese Gamer buries it in front. McLaughlin the feed. Reese the finish. And it's 4 to 2. Well, this play is all Owen McLaughlin. Watch this. Starts up top. He's going to shimmy shake. He goes here. Watch this. Puts the brakes on. Finds out. Finds that lane where Reese Gaber sneaks down and gets left alone in front of the paint. But look at that. Goaltenders realizes he doesn't get tricked into looking from behind or over to his other shoulders. But Reese Gaber, a good job just getting to the open ice. Sliding in on that backdoor play. But wow, what a job. North Dakota here on this power play. Blake able to spin away from the advances of DeYoung. Jackson Blake, what a goal by the freshman! Power play strike for North Dakota, and it's 4-3! Not only is this going to be a goal, North Dakota's going to go right back on the power play as there was a penalty. I think it was a tripping call that was going to get called. What a play by Blake here. Look at the spinorama. You talk about a freshman with some hockey moxie. Look at this. Woo! See you later. Drives to the net right there and follows through. It's going to be a penalty as he gets tripped up. So not only is it 4-3, North Dakota going right back on the man advantage because of the special play. Lee Blake, his goal has made it a one-goal hockey game. More magic here. Broken up. Jandrick! Chris Jandrick in the back of the net. It's 4-4. Four four. Power play strike. And we are all tied up. Well, the skill on Jackson Blake on full display here in this third period. I mean, he was going to force a pass, but because he's so gifted and skilled, he fights off and finds a way. There he gets a lucky bounce as he's looking back door. He's trying to get that puck over to Costantini, but it deflects off of the stick, goes right out to the slot, and Jandrick does a great job following up. Look at that spinorama on there again. That's two spinoramas in a row. Highlight penalty is going to expire right now. So back to five on five is Hayne! 
Calvin Hain! Five to four, North Dakota! What a turnaround tonight! Well, the hand train continues to deliver. Boy, he's been red hot ever since getting back. He was good last year. An errant clearing attempt right there. And a good job by Schmaltz sealing that off. And Gavin Hain just going to fire that through. And it squeaks through the arm and the glove, lower body arm, and through the chest of Perez. Hain just firing this one through. A little traffic in front just squeezes through. And North Dakota all the momentum right now as they lead. 41 to 16, one of the top puck possession teams in the country. Jaden Lee, back across, McGee, top corner, C.J. McGee, five to five. Jets, the Young with six seconds, shot blocked by Frisch, kept in by Metza, a quick glance at the scoreboard, back to the Young, last chance, deflected wide, and we are going to a shootout crowd on their feet, and here we go. One power play goal tonight already for Blake. Look at the safety mitts from Jackson Blake. Oh, son of an NHL player, and he sure looked good there. Well, that's the Jocelyn Lamoureux right there. Now Sam Lipkin, who scored against the Sharks in the shootout. Helston makes it. was down. Here we go. So Reese Gaber against Perez. Gaber. Off the point and in. Fuck. Send this to a fourth person in the shootout line. Burgart. Stop by 